Good morning to my lovely year one. Here we have some pictures of our friends and they have given me their height in centimetres from the other day when they were measuring themselves. For your first task today, what I would like you to do is you'll need to get your maths books and you're going to have to pause this video so you can keep uh, this picture on your screen. And at the top of your page, I want you to put the tallest child. So who is going to be number one? And then I want you to do go down your page. And I want the children to get shorter and shorter each time. So you'll have, there is nine children. So who's going to be number one? Who's going to be the tallest? And who's going to be number nine? Who's going to be the shortest? And then I want you to see, are any children the same height? I wonder if you can make any pairs. And if you have measured your own height, can you work out where you would go and what children you'd go between when you were measuring your heights? Morning. Excellent, guys. I wonder if you were able to work out who the tallest person out of those nine children were in our class was. Next, what I would like you to do is you're going to need to get a ruler or one of your paper rulers that, was in your, uh, that were in your packs. Get one of your rulers. Here he is. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing some lines of different length. Okay. So what I mean by this is I'm going to give you a, set, a measurement in centimetres. And I want you to have a go at drawing that measurement. So drawing that measurement as a line using your ruler. Okay. So it's like the game that we were playing on our Zoom meeting yesterday. Um, which I'll link in the description, which is on the Top Marks website. It's a brilliant game, brilliant website, lots of good games in there that you can use. And we'll have a go at that now using our ruler and using the pen. So, the first measurement. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some measurements, maybe five or six measurements, and you're going to have to draw the line. So, the first measurement I'm going to give is five centimeters. Okay. Hopefully you'll know what five centimetres is because I saw some lovely five centimetre tall penguins yesterday or last video. And we're going to have a go at drawing a five centimetre line. So you need to get your ruler. You need to remember that we start at the zero, not at the end of the ruler. And then I want you to draw a line, not on your ruler, on your page. Five centimetres long. Is that line five centimetres long? It looks like it. And next to it, I'd like you to write five centimetres. Okay. I'll give you another one. Can you do me a line that is nine centimetres long? Do your line again this time. Remember, start at the zero, not at the end of the ruler. Go all the way along, all the way along, to get to the nine. Looks good to me. And I'm going to write here, nine centimetre. Okay. I'm going to give you some more measurements now. And I'm going to put some trick ones in there so you can challenge yourselves. If they're a bit too tricky, that's okay. If you think you've mastered measuring and you want a really, really tricky challenge, I wonder if you could draw me some lines using half centimetres. So could you draw me a line that is seven and a half centimetres long? So you're going to need to look at your ruler and think about where that line would finish. It's seven and a half. There's something on the ruler that can help you. Have a look at that. See if you can work it out, okay? Bye for now, guys.